Well, <clears throat> good evening, everybody. I have returned. Hey, Tess, how's it going? Um, <clears throat> this is episode four. Um, and um, I'm excited to play this. Um, mainly because I'm excited to get through the end of this story. The story is really like the whole game is just weird. Um, let's see here. I just want to go into the forgotten turnabout. Um, we did watch a little bit of this, um, like the opening sequence, what on Saturday or whatever it was. So, yeah, let's find out what happens here. We'll start this right off. Hope everyone's doing well. Hey, Blue Switch. <laughs> Chopsky, thank you so much for the prime gaming. Thank you so much for contributing towards not giving Jeff Bezos uh, free money. Thank you so much. That's really appreciated. I don't like the fact that K is... Probably going to be seriously injured, I imagine. By the way, I got a tattoo of the um, Yadagarasu uh, symbol on my thigh. And if you're on my Discord, you can see it. Um, I think it's under photos or art. I can't remember where I got it done exactly. It's somewhere in that, in that little corner of the internet. I think there's only like one episode left after this one. I wonder if it'll be equally as long as um, the last one. Well, I'm glad to hear see you and good luck on the vaccination. Hopefully you ride it out. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. So I wonder how mommy is going to do here. Very loud on this here. That might be slightly better. This might be a bit too loud. I think I knocked the volume on my mixer again. I still think this is too loud. We'll find out what this does here. This is the problem with having, you know, so many audio inputs. <laughs> Being a prosecutor is exactly what makes you Prosecutor Edgeworth, sir. Oh my gosh. Gumshoe is just so, like, Gumshoe looks like he's about to, like, just have a huge conniption. <laughs> That's so funny. He should quit his job, I agree. I I'm sorry, what is she wearing? That's a movie reference to... No, wait, it's not. I 
Oh dear. It's warm in my office. There we go, much better. Karen Jensen. Karen Jensen. What's the pun here? Karen Jensen. Karen Jensen. Jensen Karen. Die Young... Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that one I get. Die Young Hospital. Hmm. I wonder what the Yelp reviews are like for that place. Yeah, it's always lupus. It's always lupus. I'm very confused to why a registered nurse would just show up in Edgeworth's office. Like, they're not giving out flu shots, are they? Edgeworth, you, you really are an asshole sometimes, so somebody could. Have a good trip there. Oh, bless. I hope you have a good time. All right, who you look? I have a feeling this is K. You've met her. It's K. What? Well, she did fall. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. I can. Where is this going? memory loss. Oh, of course. Of course. It is K. It has to be K. Hmm. You should know who the hell she is. See, if I was in the Yadagarasu, I would be easily recognizable because I have the Yadagarasu symbol uh, tattooed on me now. So, you know, <clears throat> always get a tattoo. <clears throat> you should always get your favorite uh, band at the current moment tattooed on your... Um, like shoulder or something like that like whatever homer simpson really liked as a band that's an appropriate band name to tattoo on you what is our hat supposed to say it's like something first Well, that's too bad. Well, I hope that you can have a good trip after the fact, after uh, all that stuff is settled. Oh, geez, it's not K at all.
So from what I understand about, like, this is what you call retrograde amnesia. I'm pretty certain it's retrograde amnesia. It's like, isn't it exceedingly uncommon or, like, unheard of? Like, it's, it's a trope that's played out a lot, and yet I believe from what I understand is that it's complete nonsense. Like, it does exist, but not in the way that, like, you would have it portrayed here or whatever. Gumshoe, here, hmm. Gumshoe doesn't have a very good feathery touch in this situation, does he? You're really cool, and you still are. Just ignore Gumshoe. Gumshoe just doesn't really know how to understand the gravity of the situation here. But she's never really stolen anything. Yeah, I feel you on that, the Jenny. I never imagined I would be a criminal. Well, Kay, you've never really pulled off anything necessarily illegal. More powerful than a locomotive and about as subtle. Yeah, that's a good way of describing Gumshoe. That would be fun cosplay. My hair is not the right color, but it'd be fun to cosplay as K. These really look like a thief's clothes. I'm sorry, the really bright pink does not really stand out. Like, in all honesty, it's what a cosplayer would wear. Like, I would expect to see somebody dressed like this at an anime convention, not stealing valuables from a home. But, you know, maybe I'm just misunderstanding Japanifornia. <laughs> Thank you, Edgeworth. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying you were a great thief, but never once did you commit a crime. So how, how do you become a great thief without breaking the law? Like, that's a really good question here. Okay, you know what? That's a very good statement there, because honestly, I keep looking at Kay's outfit, and I did think Naruto at one point, but... I didn't want to say it because I was like, nah, it's not like that. But now that you've said it, I'm like, okay, I'm not the only one. Good. I could totally see Kay at an anime con just doing a, like, a Naruto run, whatever the hell you call it. A prosecutor is the kingpin of a great thief. Mm, nah, only if you're Manfred von Karma. So she has this level of amnesia. She's being... Like, how do you have a head injury this severe and then show up inside of an office like this two days later? This seems a little impractical. Why are you choosing what is useful to us? 
Gem and Ninja Mask? Anime Amnesia? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, we have, you know, 30 minutes or less and we know what's going on. Alright, I wonder what it says here. Okay, so let's 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 read this note here. Your most precious memory, Jill. Who's Jill? Is it Jill of the Jungle? Any of you know what that reference is? That would be a fun speedrun, actually, to do um, the Jill of the Jungle games. Dating spot? That's probably a famous spot for getting thrown off a building now, too. Hmm, sounds gay. I like it. Wanna go stand on top of this tower and hold hands in this relatively modern looking building? It's not very tall, if you ask me. Six dollars, though? Holy moly. If Kay really did pay for a trip up there, kudos to her for at least, you know, paying for uh, a trip up there as opposed to, I don't know, sneaking up there. stuff there. I'm curious. I imagine that this woman's gonna come back to haunt us. Yeah, imagine paying to, like, get pushed off of a building. Kind of would want a refund. Oh, we're gonna call for a taxi. I like how we're just wandering around with, you know, Kay and what appears to be pajamas. I can only assume that Kay's wearing pajamas. Did he even, like, change it for... Oh my god, they actually even changed her image here. Okay, that's, a, that's clever. I appreciate that touch. Do hospitals have pajamas? Like, I've only been given a gown when I've been in a hospital. Like, I've only stayed overnight in a hospital once in my lifetime, and every other time I've been there, I've worn a gown. Unless I drink fresh milk. Oh my god, is that Penny? Did they bring Penny back? Oh my god, they brought Penny back. Yeah, exactly. That's what I would have thought. Like, a pair of PJs makes no sense. I hope that's Penny. Please let that be Penny. I've missed Penny. Penny was, like, such a throwaway character from Case 1-2.
<laughs> Kay's like, oh, this is all real. They didn't even, like, introduce us the penny. I'm pissed. There's no penny here. We're not going to see penny. It has been nine games since we've seen Penny, and they just tease us with Penny. I'm crushed. I wanted to see Penny. We're going to interrogate Heaven's Tear, Heaven, Heavenly Cotton, what? Cotton what? Cotton balls? Toilet paper? Bandages? There's bandages on her face. Like, he's, she's got gauze on her face. Cotton candy? I can see it being candy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That could, that seems about right. Is that a reference to another game, though? <clears throat> in all honesty, this gay little place that we're in where you're supposed to hold hands and then, you know, become intertwined for the rest of your life isn't really selling me. There we go. What you mean by there we go? Hi, I'm here. Welcome here, Tess. Oh, Twitch wasn't working? Yeah, Twitch... Twitch is rude. I don't have a lot of nice things to say about Twitch. Even though I stream on it. And they do pay me occasionally. I get paid as a contractor, so, you know. You're paid by Twitch as a contractor? Oh, I see what you mean now. Okay. <laughs> I was just like, wait, what? My day job is salaried. I'm not a contractor. <laughs> I want to check something here. I know nothing about the layout of this place here. So this is what it looks like on the top. Okay, so... Because she's making a reference to... Um, 
was walking towards me from the other side of that stand. Wait, what did she say here? What does she mean that she was seeing someone from the other side of the stand? He would just fall off. Objection. You're supposed to like figure out the logic and she says like to the other side of the stand and I'm like, how can that be po possible? Like it didn't make any sense. <clears throat> Like, they're in a tall building. Like, it's this high up. Like, whatever this- whatever story's tall this building is. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you're looking at, like, I don't know, this is like, what, a 30-story building? Yeah, really, really impressive heights up here. Yeah, they would be floating in in the air. There's no way to, like... Yeah, I don't want to... Let's go back to case 2-3. We've already had a case 2-3 reference in this game, and it still haunts me. Oh my god, please, for the love of god, don't make this another... Make this, like, case 2-3. It's like, yeah, it was, you know, hung from... The building across the street or something silly. Oh, that's right. His name was Billy Bob. It was like Maximilian Galactica, I think his name was. So we're just going to be updating Kay's memories. Does it update, like, as context? Okay, yeah, the building's about to transform. The victim is Kay. Um... Wait, what? Okay, um, I don't know what the hell that's about, but apparently that's 